I'm Atubo George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Praise God. Now listen, I've been sharing with you all week how to um, put yourself in position and in line or in alignment with what God is about to do. And my prayer for you, my prayer for you is like more than ever before, you will catch the word of the Lord and receive the manifestation of his truth in the name of the lord jesus christ before we go into today's broadcast can we call for that daily bread are you ready join me right now say father i demand right now my daily bread it's coming to me now in jesus name amen praise god so i'll share with you all week how your role see god have said is opening your book but now this is your role in this assignment in this instruction i told you when god wants to manifest his word that prophecy will come with an instruction how fast you're able to keep the instruction will determine how fast the manifestation will come so if God is going to open your books, if you are going to see the manifestation of those things he has written concerning you, the Lord is saying, this is your pattern. This is the pattern that you should follow. What is the pattern? Pray according to the watches. Listen, you may have heard this thing before. You may not have heard it before. But I, I admonish you, when you hear something new, take out time and go pray and ask the Lord, Lord, what is this thing? I really want to understand. For the past two days, I took out time to show you from scriptures the patterns of certain events. Not all of it. I just took out some. But you just notice that there is this pattern that visitations follow. And why do they follow those patterns? Now, that's why I shared it with you. Those are gates. The Holy Spirit is the one who's in charge of all the angels. Now, when we say gates, gates for what? Gates for seasons, gates for timings, angels walk in regiments. So, in a day, think about it. You have eight sets of angels that walk in a day. They change their timings eight times. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> now, what, what, what your concern should be, it's not to find out, okay, Lord, open my eyes to see how angels are working. No, understand their flow. And the most important thing is what you gain. The most important thing is what you experience, how you walk. The Holy Spirit is the one who guides us. Angels walk for us. But you see, when you know the guidance of the Holy Spirit, and then you, for example, you want to you want to go on the on a, on a boat ride, okay? So you take your boat. Now imagine the boat is a canoe, for example, and then the canoe is without an engine. So you just have to use the paddle. Okay. Now imagine you paddling against the tide you know you're going to apply a lot of strength. But then imagine you waiting because the tide always moves in different directions depending on what time they move or the time of the wind. So you can wake up in the morning, the tide is going in towards your right. And then by evening, you see that the tide is going to the east, to the, to, to, towards your left. Now, I'm from a riverine area. So this is, I'm, talk, I'm speaking to you from practical experience, praise God. So we see the tide change from morning and evening. So where the tide is going in the morning, by evening when you come, you see the water moving in the different direction. So if you want to move, for example, you wait for the tide. You know that, okay, you know, I'm going in the, towards the right. So you know when to move. The tide in the morning will be going towards the right. So you, you set out in the morning. 
Now, what happens to you? You just relax and balance your boat. See that you don't have to put energy to move the boat. But when you're going against the tide, you need strength. Not just you. You have to do it with someone else so that you guys will push. Your speed will be beyond the speed of the tide. If not, you're going this way and the tide will be moving you that way. Praise God. So that's what these things, is all, these things are all about. If you want that, even your prayer life will be enhanced if you learn this. If you start putting, setting your prayer time around the watches, the gates of the watches, you are going to realize after a while that there is so much ease with which you pray. And then secondly, it's as if the heavens are opened when you pray at that time. I'm telling you this from experience. Everybody who knows this will tell you that there's just a difference. So that's why you keep hearing people say, pray at midnight, pray at midnight. Or you hear people say, oh, my prayer time is 3 a.m. from 3 a.m. What do you think they are doing? Now, some don't even know these teachings. They just felt in their spirit they should be praying at this time. That's what I was telling you yesterday. The Holy Spirit will never instruct you against his pattern. So when the Holy Spirit begins to instruct you, even though you don't know the teachings about it, when you hear the teachings, you're like, ah, no wonder. You see? Because you are following the Spirit of God and he's the one that is bringing this understanding to you now. He said, no wonder. No wonder I just always felt like praying at this time. No wonder I always felt like doing things at this time. Personally, that's my pattern. I pray. Now you, you will live a life without struggle. I'm telling you the truth. A life without struggle. You are on time. That's what will be happening to you. You will be on time. When you're supposed to do something, whatever you need will be available for you to do it. You financial, even your finances, you will see the same pattern. Maybe you struggle, you know, it's time to pay your bills. You struggle, oh, where's the money? Oh God, learn this. If you give offerings, if you, if you tithe, I've told you these things before. Tithing belongs, your, the tithe belongs to the Lord. And you must learn to give it to him. How do you give it to him? Not that you put it outside and say, Lord, like Elijah did. If, this, if you want to collect this, I send down fire to consume this money. Your bonus is the end money. So how do you tie it? You present it to the owner. The owner, he is the Lord. He say, Lord, I've got your money. Can you tell me where you want this money to be deployed? And then the Lord will instruct you. Say, but I pray this. He say, wait. Wait. It doesn't mean he will tell you immediately. He will tell you when he needs it. You see that now? Because there might be someone in your neighborhood that wants that money. And God has heard the person's cry. And that's what the tithe is meant for. I tell people this. God made a promise to Abraham. He says, through you, Abraham, I'm going to bless all the families of the earth. Now, the word God used there for blessing means I'm going to take care of all the families of the earth. So when God, when God says, I will bless you, what he's saying is, I will take care of you. So, so when God told Abraham, through your seed, all the families of the earth will be blessed. Hey, guess what? We are the seed of Abraham, but we are not fulfilling that prophecy. And that's the most important part of the Abrahamic covenant is the most important part god says he wants to through abraham's seed bless all the families of the earth now that is only possible now this is the reason god instructed abraham to tithe this is the reason god told abraham to keep 10 percent he god is wise he's wiser than you the fact that people don't understand doesn't mean god lied or god didn't know what he was doing but thank God for the Holy Spirit that when you listen to him, he brings you into the place of knowledge. So he told Abraham, 
I'm going to, with your seed, bless all the families of the earth. What does that mean? Take care of all the families of the earth. So now here you are, a seed of Abraham. You have been blessed. Then you take out your 10%. And that, that's all God needs. 10%. You take it out and say, Lord, now I'm talking about Titan now, not any other offering. Titan now. Lord, you've blessed me and I've got your money. Tell me where you want this money deployed and I'll obey you. And then sometimes you hear him instantly. Sometimes even before you receive the money, you know you're receiving such a money but because you're a consistent tighter. You hear the Lord says, when that money comes, send the tithe to Susan Super. Sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, Lord. You see that now? Now, or sometimes he keeps quiet. When he keeps quiet, keep it aside. He will speak one day. When he speaks, he commands you to take it to Susan Supers. Thank you, sir. Could be an individual, could be a ministry. Could... Now, the Old Testament gives us a pattern. And what's that pattern? The Levites, that's the ones who do the work of the Lord. The needy, that's the talking about the widows. And the uh, Orphans, the fatherless. So those are people in need, like people in need. Then he also talks about strangers. Strangers are people who are out of the covenant. So understand that pattern. Now, what does that mean? When Now, remember, God said all the families of the earth. So there is this pattern that God is going to lead you to tight. Number one, to the Levites. That's those who do the work of the Lord. So God can tell you to give your tithe to a certain church. God can tell you to give your tithe to a certain minister of the gospel. One evangelist somewhere. He can send you to give the tithes to them. Two, the widows. So God can send you to give the tithe to widows. People in Nina. Because he is the father. He is the husband to the widow. You know that, right? So he sends his money to his wife. <laughs> You understand what I'm talking about. Then the fatherless, God is father to the fatherless. So he takes care of the father. How does he take care of the fatherless? We have his money with us. His 10% is with us. So he, through us, distributes it to them. Right? Then, the strangers. Those are people that are outside the covenant. Those are people that are not even born again. How can God tell me to give the title to somebody that is not born again? Yes, he does. He does. He does. Believe me. Don't argue. Praise <laughs> God. He does. Why? Because the fact that you don't think they are born again doesn't stop them from being the seed of God. Now, there are people who, for example, God can send you to give you. God can send you to give your tithe to a Muslim. Now, because in Nigeria setting, you know, we're used to okay, Muslim, Christian, and, and stuff like that. Ah, I went that far. Yes, God can tell you to give your tithe to a Muslim. Why? Because you're the one that calls the person a Muslim. God knows who his seed are. Now, this is the point. God sends you. Now, I'm not saying oh, that, 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 we, that, that guy is a Muslim, but he has not eaten. Let me give you my time. That's not what I'm talking about. Don't preempt God anyhow. Look to him and train yourself for this. Train yourself for this. Father, I have your money. What do you want me to do? Now I'm sharing this with you to tell you this. Pray. When you pray those prayers, pray, learn, practice praying around the watches. And see what happens. So the Lord directs you, take your tithe to Susan so person. Now, sometimes you're not sure, like, ah, eh? hmm. okay. Now, how do you know it's true? You know it's true because it will never depart from you. Give it three days. Come again and say, Father, it will just come before you again. That person, I know now, but why? <sighs> Father, you will still see because this is truth. Hmm. Okay. And you know, the moment you do it, the peace of God will surround your heart. You will know you've done what is right. You see that? So, you give it to the person. 
And what do you say when you give? You ask the other person, ah, God said I should send you my tithe. No, for teaching purpose, you may do so. But then, ordinary, you can say, oh, God said I should send you this money. God said I should bring this to you. Learn to use that statement. God said I should. Don't be afraid to say it. God said, because he told you. Now, it's not you being nice to the person. That's what you must make them understand. Their father sent you to them. You don't know the communication they've had with your father, who is their father also. You don't know until you obey our father and then you do it to them. God said, I should give you. Now, what is it? You are bearing witness to what God said to Abraham. Through your seed, all the families of the earth will be taken care of. I've said this many times. If we all tithe right, I'm telling you, nobody will suffer on this earth. If every child of God will tithe right, everybody's need will be taken care of. The church building need will be taken care of. The poor man's need will be taken care of. Yes, because while one is receiving instructions to take his tithe to that church and that pastor is asking the Lord, Lord, we need to build this your structure that you showed me in the vision. And God commands someone to take your tithe there. Someone is receiving instruction to take his tithe to the widow. Another one is receiving his instruction to take his tithe to that one who's crying to the Lord and say, Lord, my school fees, if they say, if I don't pay tomorrow, you will send, they will send me out of school. I need help. And then someone receives that instruction and say, hey, guy, send me your account number. Oh, what's it? The Lord asked me to send you some money. Oh, really? And then he said, wow, do you know this is my school fees? I asked God for two days and I've been asking the Lord. And I said, actually, God, I've been talking to me for the past three days. It's me that I've been dragging. I'm so sorry. Praise. These things happen in our lives every now and then. It's, it's normal. Why? See, we are living our lives according to God's pattern. And as we do this, the heavens are opened. Now, when you begin to follow God's pattern, the Holy Spirit will begin to teach you. Nobody sat me down to teach me these things. I received them from the Spirit of God. The more I walk with Him, the more I try to understand, he begins to open my understanding. I love doing that. I, I love to understand everything. Not just, mm, I believe, I believe. No, Lord, I believe, oh, but tell me the principle behind this. And I can wait. I can fast and pray for something like that. Then he opens it up to me. I, Whoa, wow. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Why am I sharing all these things with you? There is a new pattern. God is setting a pattern. And he is drawing this pattern from the things he has written concerning your life that no eye have seen. Remember, it was only Jesus that was qualified to open the book. And Jesus is opening your book in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I pray manifestations everyone who's watching and listening to me right now everyone who have believed your word they are coming back with testimonies in the name of the lord jesus christ amen god bless you listen you're gonna have the best weekend ever i say that and it shall come to pass. Bye.